So we will introduce uh, evolutionary computation. We haven't introduced it actually. So uh, I mean, uh, a definition for evolutionary computation it, it cannot be say uh, said as an uh, uh, definition, but it is uh, it can be taken as a type of definition actually. It is a field of study that is devoted to design, development, and analysis of problem solvers based on natural selection. Uh, you might have seen this problem solving methods uh, like um, uh, this, um, what is it? Uh, when you have something like uh, you have two equations, uh, two equations with the two unknowns, say x and y. You might have done uh, e something like uh, under two equations and two unknowns, and then you want to find out the two unknowns say x plus 2y equal to some uh, some constant say 16 and uh, 2x plus 3y equal to some another constant say 25 or something like that then you want to find out uh, x and y so that is a problem that is actually a problem so in that case you can find out the x and y using by directly by solving uh, these two equations that is a uh, subtracting one uh, equation from the second one in order to remove one of its uh, variables from uh, from that particular equation so that the equation becomes uh, uh, one equation with one unknown so then you can solve for that particular uh, specific unknown that is uh, say it is a, a specific variable say x so that sort of problem you might have done in your school days itself so that is a problem where you can directly solve it. So that is uh, a simple problem, but there are complex problems, very complex problems, where you may not be able to solve uh, it optimally, or uh, to, uh, you may not be able to find the solution within a short span of time. Uh, an example, some, some uh, function like this, say some function like this, uh, uh, a function is there, say, sin x by t, uh, so sorry, sin x by 12 plus uh, uh, sin squared x by 5 minus x squared, some function like that, some, some sort of a function. Say, and uh, you want to find out the value of x so that the value of this particular function is minimized, the minimum value. The, then the x value, the x value can be uh, any value from say 0 to 100. The value of the x can be any value from 0 to 100. In that case, you want to find out the value of x such that the given function is to be minimized. So in that case, if you do any specific method, if you uh, do an exact solution procedure for this particular method, it may take, it may be too complex that it may take uh, a large amount of time as large amount of time in order to get that particular solution there in such sort of problems comes the natural selection procedure that is the evolutionary computation in evolutionary computation what we does is uh, we imitate uh, the natural uh, selection procedure that is uh, the uh, theory of uh, evolution you might have heard about the theory of evolution condition that is uh, all the uh, living beings are evolved from uh, small organisms so uh, the process was very slow but what we does is we simulate this particular condition so uh, by simulating this uh, condition what happens is uh, the process can be made faster so that is uh, the evolutionary computation it is a simulated evolution condition so uh, some of the application areas of evolutionary computation uh, it is actually a long list and uh, the list is uh, not comprehensive also there are many other areas where it can be done so aircraft design in aircraft design they are doing the evolutionary computation procedure then routing in communication networks and electronic field then tracking wind shear game playing that is a uh, uh, checkers the game you might have seen the game checkers Fogel employed a uh, an evolutionary computation procedure for uh, playing this uh, checkers. Then robotics. Robotics is uh, path finding or uh, the motion, how much it is, the path through which a particular uh, 
uh, robotic uh, devices to be moved so that uh, the total distance covered is uh, minimum or the total area covered is maximum something like that so th that sort of uh, conditions are there then air traffic control uh, which um, like uh, which aircraft to land on which uh, runway etc that sort of uh, things then the design design of machine elements then scheduling scheduling of operations machine learning in your uh, in the machine learning part also this evolutionary computation is being uh, used then patent recognition patent recognition uh, means a patent from a specific data that is available so that um, uh, like uh, uh, you are getting tailor-made uh, what do you say the advertisements the advertisement which is uh, if you have searched for a specific item in uh, google then the all the advertisements after that that is coming to your mobile or device or your laptop uh, will be uh, based on that particular item so that's the, that that is also being uh, done so that is uh, based on this pattern recognition then job shop scheduling that is job shop scheduling is manufacturing environment so in manufacturing environment also this uh, particular that is uh, which item is to be produ produced uh, first and which uh, item should go next etc that is job shop scheduling then VSL, vlsi circuit layout this, uh, designing a specific layout for uh, any vlsi circuit that is very large scale integrated circuit whatever it is so then strike force allocation that is um, uh, in military military they are also using this evolutionary computation then uh, even in theme park tours uh, in disneyland or uh, disneyland in which way you have to move uh, or a specific uh, group of people in which way they have to move uh, within that park so that so that they will be able to visit all the possible rides uh, in a short span of time uh, where they can avoid uh, crowding of people then market forecasting even at a price forecasting design of filters and barriers so many so many uh, applications are there data mining user mining then resource allocation path planning etc etc so many applications are there for uh, this evolutionary computation an example of uh, evolutionary computation is given uh, an example uh, what you say algorithm uh, not uh, exactly an algorithm a pseudo code maybe a pseudo code so in this uh, uh, condition c sorry okay so here th this is procedure ec that is uh, the, a procedure for this evolutionary computation is given at a time t equal to zero we initialize a population a population is uh, nothing but a set of candidate solutions candidate solutions means uh, uh, suppose in the case of uh, x and y as i said one two it is a candidate solution one comma two one one is uh, the value for x and uh, two is the value for y it is a candidate solution uh, but it may not be the actual solution so a candidate solution is any possible solution which will give you the desired result for that particular problem uh, which may give it uh, should always give but it is a possible solution for that one but it may not be giving you the desired result desired output so that is it that is uh, the population so uh, th that is a candidate solution not a population that is a candidate solution a candidate solution is a, a solution uh, which is a possible solution for that particular problem which is a solution actually which is not a possible solution which is a solution but it is a possible that it might be giving you the desired result it may not be giving you the you the desired result also so that is a candidate solution then you evaluate each of these candidate solutions the, in the second line uh, i mean this line see we you evaluate uh, the population so first of you initialize the population Init uh, population means a number of candidate solutions you generate some uh, 10 or 20 or 30 candidate solutions possible solutions then you evaluate each of these solutions evaluation means uh, you find there will be a uh, specific uh, fitness values say 
uh, in our case, in our case, if uh, x plus uh, 2y is equal to 16, and you want to find out, say, this is x plus 2y equal to 16 is a, uh, is a particular uh, equation, and there's some x plus, uh, sorry, 2x plus 3y is 25. I don't know whether this uh, will give you a specific value or not. x plus, uh, 2x plus 3y is 25. That is another, uh, say, uh, equation. And when you are putting 1 and 2 in this particular relation, uh, what will be the condition? In the first equation, if x plus 2y is equal to 16, if you put 1 and 2 as the values, what will you will be getting? 1 and 1 plus 2, 3, 3 equal to 16. It is not a relation. So the difference, the difference between the actual value and the obtained value, 16 minus 3, that can be taken as uh, a fitness function. So it is that particular value should be zero. That is, uh, then only our solution will be obtained. So in this particular case, uh, that particular the difference between these two can be considered as a fitness. So the fitness in this case should be zero, the fitness value. But here what we obtained is uh, uh, 13, 16 minus 3. It is uh, 13. So that is a large value. So we evaluate uh, the fitness depending on uh, the given population or uh, depending on the generated population then what we do is we repeat this procedure continuously that is uh, first we select some parents using some specific procedure we selected one or two parents from the population our parents means uh, the from the, the candidate uh, solutions itself one or two candidates solutions we select then what we do is by merging or by, by doing some operations within this particular candidates, we generate new offspring, new solutions. These new solutions are known as uh, offspring solutions. Parents uh, uh, interact with each other in order to generate new offsprings. Then we evaluate the new offsprings. Then what we do is we create a new population or we select a new population from the existing parents and the newly generated offsprings. So that is, uh, we uh, select a number of uh, offsprings or and uh, parents from the uh, combination of these two. Uh, a new population is selected from the combination of these parents as well as offsprings, depending on their uh, fitness depending on their fitness itself. So that is uh, the condition. So then we increase the T. T is uh, normally taken as the generation. Once this particular uh, set of iterations, that is selection of parent, then uh, creation of offspring, then evaluation of offspring, then selection of the new population is done, we say that one generation is completed then we increase the generation number we go to the next generation so the details of all these things will be uh, easily understood once you does or once we uh, see an example of these things so we will go and this is only just an introduction to evolutionary computation so what in evolutionary computation this is uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier, it is a population of candidate solutions is randomly generated. The generation of uh, candidate solutions is random. I hope you know what is the randomness. Do you understand what is random? Anybody? Are you there actually? or all seven are left. Okay, you, some of you are there. Then what is random? Any idea? Randomness. Selectors are I, I cannot hear you. Uh, it is not audible. I can I can hear some some noise, but uh, I cannot uh, hear you what you are saying. Without any yeah, without any specific criteria, you are selecting something. That's it. Okay, like uh, uh, 
you are tossing a coin you are tossing a coin then whether head will come or the tail will come you doesn't know so that is a randomness and you are uh, tossing a die a six sided die then you doesn't know which number will come that is randomness and you are picking a specific uh, you are uh, picking a student from the class without having any uh, pre, uh, what you say any specific criteria you are just uh, uh, what do you say a kai ka type uh, uh, selection is being done that is also random so that is uh, the randomness that is a uh, it is uh, what you say sto stochastic the other term for randomness is known as the stochastically that is uh, uh, without any specific criteria so then each of the candidate solutions is evaluated that is as i said uh, it is being evaluated and assigned a fitness a specific value or a specific fitness value is uh, assigned to it based on the specific evaluation function we will be having a specific evaluation function each of for each of the problem there will be an evaluation function uh, is uh, if uh, for a um, example if uh, it is for a job shop scheduling problem that is uh, which particular element or which particular machining uh, the component is should be go should be going to the machine first so in that case it should be the uh, time the time of the operation the time of the full operation so that could be the evaluation function then this uh, particular uh, fitness is used to determine the goodness of a candidate solution whether this particular candidate solution is very good or not in our previous case as i said x plus 2y equal to 16 if i take uh, the value as um, what you say uh, 102 it is not a good candidate solution because uh, uh, the fitness uh, the fitness function i selected is uh, the difference between the actual value that is 16 actual value is 16 and uh, the value that i the, uh, the, that that is obtained when i put this particular uh, values for into the variables that is x is 1 and y is 2 so uh, so the value is 1 and 2 one, so it comes to 5 no, not 3 it comes to 5 1 and 2 it comes to 5 so because uh, x is 1 and y is 2 so 2 into 2 is 5 or uh, 4 2 into 2 is 4 4 plus 1 5 so the difference between these two that is uh, if you consider it as a function uh, it as a um, what you say evaluation function so then in that case the fitness is uh, 16 minus 5 that is uh, 11 but in another case if i select another candidate solution say uh, 10 and 3 the candidate solution is 10 and 3 that is x is 10 and y is 3 in that case what happens is x is 10 and y is 3 so oh, 2 times 3 is 6 10 plus 6 is 16 so the difference between these two that is zero so that is a good candidate solution so that is how the goodness of a candidate solution is found out that is uh, it depends on the different uh, different depending on the different problems the goodness of the evaluation function also varies so that uh, you will understand once you does uh, your uh, course project then what we does is a number of individuals are then selected to be parents based on their fitness the selection procedure must balance the urge for selecting the best performing uh, candidate solutions with the need for population diversity the population diversity is um, nothing but a number of uh, different types of population i mean uh, candidate solutions should be there if all the candidate solutions in a population are the same then you may not be able to produce different offsprings it will be the same offspring that will be created again and again so th that is not a good algorithm but instead what you have to do is you have to select the parents in such a way that uh, when you are recombining it when you are doing the crossover operation or mutation operator or whatever genetic operation that you are doing uh, then the offspring that is created should be uh, different from whatever is existing so that is uh, the selection procedure should be in such a way that uh, it should be having uh, some criteria for uh, some uh, inclination towards selecting the best uh, solution best candidate solutions uh, within that particular population as well as it should keep the 
diversity that is different uh, types of or different uh, uh, fitness having the candidate solutions having different fitness should be stored uh, should be selected then the selected parents are allowed to create a set of offspring which are evaluated and assigned a fitness using the same evaluation function uh, defined by the user so then uh, once the parents are selected the parents are uh, parents undergo some operation some um, operation in uh, such a way that uh, they create new offsprings once the offsprings are created then they are also uh, evaluated using any fitness function. Then finally, a decision must be made as to which individuals of the current population and the offspring population should be allowed to survive. So that is survival means uh, we are uh, moving or we are uh, retaining this uh, candidate solutions in the particular, in the specific, uh, uh, in this uh, specific population to survive to the next uh, uh, population next to population we may not be storing all the uh, st created offsprings and uh, current parents together so it may uh, create uh, what you say the requirement for the data I mean the storage of data should be very large in that case if you store all the possible uh, offsprings as well as parents together so what we does is we limit the number of candidate solutions in a specific uh, population. So when the population is uh, re uh, again reconstructed, then what happens is uh, a number of solutions, a number of candidate solutions are selected from the uh, existing population or existing population plus the offsprings created. So this is uh, actually done to create, guarantee the population size remains uh, constant. That is uh, the available, uh, the, that, that is to limit the required uh, computational uh, requirements. That is uh, the number of uh, hard, uh, the amount of uh, data, I mean, the memory required, etc., etc. Then once a decision is made, the survivors comprise the next generation. So the uh, next generation is created like this. Then this process is repeated again until a specific stopping criteria is uh, done. So the, then this uh, process of selecting parents is based on their fitness, allowing them to create offspring and replacing weaker members of the population is repeated for a user specified number of cycles. The termination criteria, that is when this particular loop this is being looped over a number of iterations and when it should be uh, ended that depends on a different there are different stopping criteria or stopping conditions some of them are described here or some of them are given here the discover, discovery of an optimal or near optimal solution that is we know the actual solution or we know that it is a, the uh, actual solution will be somewhere here so what we do is, uh, we, when we find out an optimal solution in the case of in the previous case, that is x plus 2y equal to 16, that condition, once we get that 10 and 3 as a solution, that means it is an optimal solution. That is uh, the best solution. That is one of the best solutions. I am not saying that it, it is the only solution. That is, that, that is one of the solutions. So you can store that particular Thing. The, once you obtain that particular solution, then you can stop the condition, the stop the uh, iterations. Then uh, you converge uh, on a single solution or a set of similar solutions. That is, uh, uh, all the solutions, all the solutions within a specific um, population, all the fitness values is uh, within a specific range of uh, the average value. That is, uh, there is not much difference between the sp uh, fitness values of all the candidate solutions within a specific uh, so, uh, population. So that is another stopping condition. Then another condition is when the EC detects, the, when the evolutionary condition detects that the problem has no feasible solution. That is uh, mostly uh, not much used because uh, most of the problems has uh, any, uh, some sort of uh, feasible solutions. But in some cases, there won't be any feasible solution also. So that is another stopping condition. 
then there may be some user specified threshold has been reached that is the threshold means uh, uh, in each iteration or in successive iterations uh, there will be some improvement in the fitness functions in the average fitness function so if it is said that uh, for a specific period of time there won't be any improvement in the average fitness function then it can be removed or say, say the optimal value is somewhere around 100 and if i want a solution uh, where it is only 105 is also required so then uh, when that particular value is obtained we can stop the uh, evolutionary algorithm then after a maximum number of cycles that is the repetitions has uh, undergone a number of specific cycles so that is also possible 